So guys, you're here actually right now in one of the most historical places in Manila and this is where the sculpture is located. It's actually a monument and we're gonna feature it later. And for now, we're gonna give you a glimpse of the history of this park, a historical place in Manila. Rizal Park's history began in the early 1800s during the Spanish rule, while Manila's social and business activities were confined within Inchamuros. The area was shaped like a small moon, also known as Lunette, and thus was named Luneta. The park was also called Bagumbayan during the Spanish colonial era. Luneta has been the site of some of the most significant moments in Philippine history. Among them are the execution of Dr. Sarizal on December 30, 1896, whose martyred death made him a hero of the Philippine Revolution. The declaration of Philippine independence from American rule on June 4, 1946, and the political rallies of Ferdinand Marcos and Corazon Aquino in 1986. So this is the site where the sculpture is located, and here it is, the monument of Dr. Sergio. The Rizal Monument is a memorial monument in Rizal Park built to commemorate the Filipino nationalist as a Rizal. The mausoleum consists of a standing bronze sculpture of the martyr with an obelisk as its backdrop, set in a pedestal upon which his remains are interred. A plaque and a pedestal font reads to the memory of a Rizal, patriot and martyr, executed at Bagumbayan Field December 30th, 1896. This monument is dedicated by the people of the Philippine Islands. The perimeter of the monument is in a continuous ritual garden by the soldiers known as the Caballeros de Rizal or Knights of Rizal. About 100 meters west of the monument is the exact location where Rizal was executed represented by life-size dioramas of his final moment. The Rizal monument was planned and constructed during the American colonial period of the Philippines in the early 20th century. The committee held an international design competition between 1905 to 1907 and invited sculptures from Europe and the United States to submit entries with material preference produced in the archipelago. On January 8, 1908, the judging committee composed of the Governor General James Smith, John McLeod, and Dr. Maximo Paterno officially announced its decision through the press. The first prize winner was Carlos Nicoli of Carrara, Italy, for his skilled plaster model titled Al Martir di Bagumbayan, besting 40 other accepted entries. This is